have had a major score ball as you can see there's blue skies behind me and we don't really know how long they'll last because the forecast does call for some more rain later today but Mark and I are working here on Monday morning getting after the second deck which is the highest level that we've got here this exterior deck with a great view of the city and we are preparing the deck in the same way that we did downstairs where we're cutting all these boards one quarter inch less each board at every foot mark so that when water inevitably blows in from this huge space um, it will drain off of the gecko deck when we eventually get that gecko deck on. So Mark's in there cutting those trim boards and I'm marking out the different um, foot marks along each section. And I just had an inspector come today, the electrical inspector from PGE. So you can see here, this is the conduit that Chris Corey Excavator did for us and it goes all the way to the electrical panel right here. And then later it will get power fed to it from PGE and it will go up this pole. And they will run a conduit up this pole and connect to the power up here. And that will basically just keep us from having to run a power line from right here to the house. So it's underground electrical and underground cable wires for Comcast, which is pretty nice. And once they come back, they're gonna be back uh, any minute now and fill in that big huge hole there and then on top of a little bit of that fill they're gonna put the Wurzbo PEX line which is back here that's for the water supply line that's gonna go on top of the um, backfill and then they'll backfill more into that trench and from there they'll fill in well from there we'll have another inspector we have the um, city inspector coming to check out that water line today and once he gives the okay then they'll backfill the entire backyard and, and side yard uh, which is what we need by the end of today the day today so that Dennis from Oak Hill roofing can come and roof inside the house starting tomorrow finally which I'm so excited about did one of these decks with my husband Brian a couple years ago on our first house that we had together and doing this now with Mark is just it's awesome because I can reflect on the first deck we did and I made this one mistake at the time where I put the boards randomly and or not like just like I guesstimated every um, Brian told me every 16 inches on center and I was just like okay yeah that looks like about 16 but then we put all the shim boards down and when you go to put the plywood on top then you don't know where to nail into so it was like this kind of comedy joke that was one of my first building mistakes not not my first first of many um, but one that stands out that I will always remember Brian and I having the realization that he told me to do something and I was like yeah yeah like 16 17 18 it's all about there and now I finally after years of doing this I really understand the importance of precise measurements especially on something like that because the standard of 16 inches is for a reason because then you know exactly where to nail when you put the plywoods on simple stuff I like to see that you're sporting your KB Handyworks attire mark Right. Things are going great. I'm feeling just pretty awesome because it's Monday and a lot of things have fallen into place. I just had an inspector come out from the city and he gave us the okay on the supply line for the ADU being buried. So that's going to be buried in the same conduit and that means that these guys can fill the trenches that are in the side of the house and flatten out all the groundwork is done which just makes me so happy because groundwork is such a pain in the ass and mark and i are doing the deck upstairs it's crushing dennis came by the roofer and kind of confirmed the site and we went over a couple more details about flashing and trims and he's solid and he's going to start tomorrow which is just like so great the roof is going on the siding's going on i'm getting answers um calling like the door guy gonna have the door frames for the pocket doors delivered tomorrow which is great the door rough openings are on point i'm gonna go to par tomorrow and talk about railings i've got like the measurements and all that kind of stuff lined up and it's just like i feel like the answers came today and like made calls got answers about 
the tongue and groove and what I need to order for that and it's just like a nice turnaround where a couple things go right and I feel like season two is moving along. Look at that, the trenches are filled. And he's just finishing by putting some rock on the front so that it doesn't get all sloppy when it rains. And we are doing well here. Mark's just getting ready to lay the last piece of plywood on this deck. And we'll finish screwing it, and we'll caulk it, flash it. Roofers putting roof on. Get my vo video footage of the of the roof for extraordinaires. Oh, yep. There you go. Forgot to get you on camera on your first day. Oh yeah. Yeah. What did the what will the audience think? Oh. This is Drew Harris. He's our coveted new employee. Oh oh, you're actually you're not taking a picture. I'm I am recording. This is your debut. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of simple stuff that Drew's doing that on his first day just to get acquainted with the job. It's like putting in this catch board for our tongue and groove wood for the soffit that I just picked up today. And then these boards here are placed for the electrician Darren so that um, he can put in can lights because there's nothing to attach them to if there's no two by four. So Drew put in all of the different boards today while he was just kind of getting the lay of land and that's super helpful. And, sweet because he's got a good eye for all of the little details that need to happen on a site like before insulation and before drywall and he comes with his own tools so it's great to have him on site i'm very very excited there's darren and he's putting in the can lights it's on the underside of the deck there and that's the last thing that he needs to do today before we get our rapid inspection tomorrow. Ooh! Ew! Can't really see, but that's the gecko deck, the first coat that Brian and Drew put on this morning. Ew! It's fantastic. Lovely. Oh.